Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I give a spray varnish and this is what I use. Now I've tried four different brands and this is my favorite one because of the way that it sprays. It's very large and it's so perfect. Also it dries beautifully. This is really my favorite brand. It costs about $20 at the side and it's a bit more expensive at Michael's. Now you want to be doing this outside because this is toxic. You don't want the fumes in your house. So I do this outside obviously and then I bring it in. So I have Q-tips here. I like to have these with me on the side. Now there's a lot of color in this painting but when there is um, some negative space, especially white or black or any color basically, um, you can see little bits fall into it and you can remove them with the q-tip and then you just spray back on top So I'm gonna set this down for you and I'm going for this Now you really want to shake your bottle a lot. It even says on the bottle You got to shake it first and then I do all around Once It's best if there's no wind also there's a tad of wind today, but it's not so bad And then I want to go in lines and I'm going to do both sides, horizontal and vertical. You can see how huge the spray is. It's really not like that for every brand, I'm telling you. And if you're interested in seeing how I made this painting, I'm gonna put the link up there for you. It came from a failure that I saved. It's freaking awesome. Now you can wait for it to dry and do another coat, or what I do is I give an extra second coat right away, and that way I don't have to go back and it's done in a one-shot deal. I like there to be a lot on it. And this bottle lasts forever. Well, not forever, obviously, but you can do a lot with it. There, you can see freshly done all wet and it's actually gonna dry very glossy like this it looks awesome all right hope this helps have a good one